Five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And thank you, Mr. Secretary, for coming before our committee today. Um, it's no big surprise for members here that um, I'm very passionate about my home state of Arizona and um, solar energy. When you think about over 300 days of sunshine that Arizona has, other western states, and frankly the whole country, really, I mean, comparing where we are with other countries, specifically Germany, Japan, of course, Spain, um, I believe the United States is missing incredible opportunity. So I was really delighted to hear your comments earlier about your emphasis for DOE to start um, pushing for, you know, I think five times cheaper um, technology for photovoltaics. But I'd like to specifically ask you about uh, the actions for DOE under your leadership in terms of engaging with the private sector for solar. Could you be a little bit more specific? Well, um, it, it depends. See, the, normally what has happened in the past is the Department of Energy will do some science, invest in some science, and get some patents and license the patents. Uh, I would want to go forward in an era where uh, we begin to work with companies in a, in a much more intimate way uh, to get uh, sort of before, while the work is being done, I think uh, companies do bring a lot of experiences in the sense that they, they are more tuned to manufacturability issues than anyone in a laboratory. And so uh, w one of the things I have heard in the past uh, is that, you know, in, you know, I was in um, uh, Silicon Valley in the Bay Area, and there are a lot of, of photovoltaic companies there. And when I hear things like, well, uh, the research direction in a particular uh, laboratory, we stop paying attention because in an effort to achieve uh, a, a world record of incrementally better efficiency, they've gone away from manufacturability. I'm thinking to myself, this is not good. And so uh, I think that it, it's ultimately going to be the cost of manufacturability and whether it's, you pick a number, whether it's 22 percent for silicon versus 22.5 percent or for the very advanced ones, of, of multicolored ones, of going from 39 to 40 percent, it's not as important as getting the cost down. Yeah. And so, uh, so that's one of the things I would really dearly love to have is, is that the companies who have to deal with the manufacturability issues are actually there help, uh, side by side with the scientists in the national labs and universities. I was laughing. You go to the Bay Area, it seems like everyone who's got a business card has got a solar energy business card. You know, you're, it's, a, it's an incredible melting pot for a lot of that technology. My concern, not just is that from the patent side, but I don't see enough demonstration projects actually taking place. There's a lot of R&D going on, a lot of money in that area, but in terms of actually rolling the projects out, I don't see enough of it. Well, I think, um, I think the loan guarantee will help some of that. Uh, I think uh, renewable portfolio standards, which create a, a, a draw of the market, will also help some of that. I, and, um, but, but solar thermal, for example, large-scale solar thermal right now is less expensive than photovoltaic, and there are some projects that are being considered in California, I know of at least one that I think should be given a chance. These are a couple hundred megawatt projects, very significant projects, which also have in it some uh, energy storage as well because you can store the heat. Yeah. Uh, and, and I agree. So those things uh, should be uh, demonstrated. I think loan guarantees and things like that will help. One of the areas I think we can get our biggest bang for the buck is with our United States military. I had a chance to visit Nellis Air Force Base last year, and this is an incredible great success story in terms of a public-private partnership. When you look at the, at the DOD, 80 percent of all of the federal government's energy is used by the DOD, and I believe that military bases provide us the, the best ability to, to, you know, in a very quick way, unlike a lot of other areas of our federal government, to put projects, to install projects, get them going. And I'm just curious about DOE's ability to partner with DOD in put some of these demonstration projects, if you're working on that and if it's on your radar screen. Uh, it is now, <laughs> uh, but but it certainly is true that the Department of Defense does does uh, they have a lot of land as well, and so they they actually have uh, the ability to to test a lot of things in in solar energy as a, as one example, and so um, so I will look into it. Yeah, looking forward to working with you, Mr. Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.